today I want to share with you tips on how we were able to get the girls to sleep on a schedule and all throughout the night. They sleep for about 11 hours throughout the night and we're so happy with that. First, I just want to say all kids are different. So these methods may or may not work for you. This has just worked out with our kids. Be consistent with your schedules. I think it was around six months when we started putting Mia and Kira on their daily schedule. So we make sure around 11.30 is when we start our routine. We give them their milk. We change their diaper while they're drinking their milk because at this age, they're so squirmy. And when they're tired, they do not want to lay still. So when they have their milk in hand, it totally helps and then when we put them to bed we turn on a certain song so there's this Fisher Price lullaby song on YouTube there's different lengths there's like two hours there's half an hour we do the 13 minute one and that's the song that will trigger them to let them know okay it is nap time in the past we used a crib mobile but they got to the stage where they're standing up and pulling it down so it was a little dangerous so we transition to the song and it works just as well so they hear the music and they know okay that is nap time another tip is to put your baby down while the baby is still awake and it's gonna be hard because the baby will not want to go down right away and they're gonna be screaming and crying but as long as you have all of the elements down, number one, make sure that their diaper is changed. Two, know that they are not hungry. And three, make sure that it is not too hot or too cold. So as long as all of that is covered, most likely your baby is okay. And they're just crying because they don't wanna to go to sleep right away. So put the baby down while he or she is still awake. Walk away calmly and close the door. I think the first time we did that, they were screaming and crying for 15 minutes and finally self-soothed themselves back to sleep. And that is the hardest part. Hearing your babies cry, I think it just took about one week. After about one week of that, they fell asleep after a few minutes. So for nighttime tips to have them sleep throughout the night, of course, a full belly always helps. So whenever they didn't have enough to eat throughout the day, or maybe they, for some reason, they didn't want to eat too much, we'll give them a little more bread at night to kind of fill them up. A nice warm bath always helps. It helps relax the baby. Also a warm, comfortable environment helps. So Mia and Kira are at the very end of the house and it's kind of cooler in that house because of how this house is built. So we put in a little space heater. We turn it on at about 75 degrees, 70 or 75 degrees. And it also has a subtle white noise sound, like it has a subtle buzz. So I think that also helps relax the babies. And I kid you not, they sleep for like 11 hours at night. It is amazing. And Juliana pretty much grew up with that when she was an infant. So she, she it is so easy putting her down. She doesn't need the music anymore, but she goes down and she sleeps for about 11 hours. It is great. <laughs> of course, Benji and I are able to have mommy and daddy time. Throughout the day, we're both busy. We're dealing with babies. We're trying to work on our own stuff. <sighs> Okay, I feel like I've been talking forever, but hopefully those tips worked for you. If there's something that worked for your babies and I may not have mentioned it, please share in the comments below. And also don't forget to check out our daily vlogs where you vlog every single day on It's Judy's Life. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.